Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I've got huge B&M haul, home bargains haul, and we've also got the rain. So I went shopping yesterday and I picked quite a lot of things up from B&M, home bargains and the range. So I've got a B&M haul, home bargains haul, and a bit of the range as well. And I also show you what's new in B&M and the range. So I've done a little bit of a filming bit in like come shop with me type style thing. So you'll see that in a second. So first of all, you're going to see what's new in B&M and the range, which also have like their autumn stuff in now. So I really wanted to show you like their new like autumn pumpkins and all that they've got in. They've got so much in it, it's ridiculous. I couldn't believe that how much I had in. So I thought I would film that for you as well. And then you'll then see what I picked up from B&M, Home Bargains and The Range. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's go and see what's new in B&M and The Range. So that's everything they have new in. Like I just showed a little bit of what's new in B&M and the range. I hope you enjoyed that bit and you've seen what was new in. They have like pumpkins and autumn stuff and we're only in August. They do it every year to us, but you know what? If you do want those things, then I would grab them now because honestly, you don't really get them as it comes to actual autumn. They sort of sell out and they sort of, these shops do that, don't they? They sort of 
they do the seasons ahead and then they change the season very quick. So if you do want any of those things, then make sure you go down to B&M and the range and pick those up. Right, I'm gonna first off start with B&M. So I'm gonna start off with these. I actually picked up some of these before and I wanted to pick up another couple. Uh, so I don't know if I've showed you these before, but it is these shelf dividers. So they're like the clear shelf dividers. Have I got that in the front? Um, like that. So basically I wanna do my utility room up and I wanna put shelves in there. Um, but to do so, I want to also separate it so that, and it just, the shelves, the dividers looked well, really cool. Look at them. They look so nice. Um, so yeah, there was five pound for a pack of two. So I did pick some more of those up because I already picked those up, but I wanted more. So I've got those from b and I don't know where to start with that much stuff. I haven't done haul for ages. So yeah, um, hmm. I actually, right, so this item I went in for, so this is what I actually went into B&M for, but you know, it's like a B&M, going for one thing, come out of a trolley full, and that's exactly what happened. Um, so I went in for these silicone cup cases. I want to get some of these because I'm going to be doing more of like muffins and stuff like that for the baby. So I wanted to do, um, try and make some broccoli muffins, broccoli and cheese and things like that. So baby, the baby just, she likes to do finger food a lot now um, and with doesn't like me to feed her so I thought that these were a good thing to sort of like bulk uh cook like bulk prep and put in like the freezing stuff so I got some of these so there's 12 in there and they're just pink ones um yeah and they're just they're just cupcake cases but they're £2.50 so it's not bad uh so I got that and I also did get which I'm not going to show you here because I've already put it in there um or in there sorry it's I got a tray so I went in for a tray in cupcake cases and that's what I picked up so yeah then I also went down the clean aisle and I got my carpet, my favourite carpet deodorizer. So this is the powder stuff that you've got on the floor. Um, it's my favourite nude doll one anyway. I don't like the green one. I think that's horrible. Please don't get it. It's not nice at all. I like the pet one, but they never have the pet one whenever I go in there these days. So the pink one is my next favourite. Um, and yeah, really, I'll be honest with you, I need to replace my carpets and my rugs because they're actually disgusting. And I also have a carpet machine, but I broke it. So we can't clean the carpets, right? So it's actually stressing me out a bit, I'll be honest. But I am going to be replacing my carpets soon because they're really overdue. And my rugs. Or I've only got one rug. but No, I've got bedroom rugs, don't I? But it's actually the rug downstairs. I'm going to replace it all for the winter because it's just not nice and it's, it's getting me stressed out. But yeah, for now, make them smell fresh. Now, I do like the elbow grease. I've tried the elbow grease um, version of this. It's the foaming toilet powder, but this is in the Fabulosa, and it's the Cotton Fresh. So I don't know what it's like. Um, I'm sure I haven't tried this one. I've tried quite a few of them, but, well, I say a few of them. I've tried a few different things, but not the Fabulosa, I don't believe. So I got this. I, I like the elbow grease one, but I can never find that anymore. So I got this one instead. Um, I think it's like one pound something. It's not got a price on it, which it normally does. But yeah, just got that for the toilet. I do like the foaming stuff. It's really, really good. Then I also got one of these. I haven't had one of these for ages. I think I bought one in 2020 and never and never bought one again. I can't remember how much these are. They're a couple of pounds as well. But I've seen people start, and my sister is one of them, that buys this. And I suppose it see it again. And I thought, you know what? I should really have something like that because I'm always wiping up stuff. And this is quite handy because it sort of dries and then you sort of just wet it and it goes again. It lasts for a long time. Uh, streak free and all of that. So I don't know. I just thought I'm always wiping up things, so why not? So I got another one of those spongy, I've got that upside down, one of those spongy cloths. So I have to do the cleaning. I was actually got quite excited about. So I got this, which was four pounds, and it's one of those coffee like latte cups. It's like a double wall. Well, it's not a double wall actually, it just looks like at the bottom, but it's very um it's just very nice. Look how nice that looks. Um, and it says, love a latte, which you all know I love my coffee because I've been starting all my videos recently in through the coffee machine. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was £4 and I just thought it looked really pretty. I haven't bought any mugs, cups or anything like that for about two years. I'm not even joking. And if you remember one of my videos, I did a massive clear out of my mugs. But I thought, you know what? I really, I was in the mood when I was shopping. You know when you're in one of those moods where you want to buy yourself like new pyjamas, new bedding? And a new mug is that just is that mood or is that just me maybe it's the weather i think it's the weather because it's like very autumny sort of weather i feel like that's where i'm going with it and then the autumn vibes were in the shop so i wanted to get all cozy i think so yeah i picked up this mug um here and 
cup or whatever and it was four pounds also on the same theme as mugs we had to pick up another one so that's why i mentioned that i haven't actually bought one for ages because then i bought up i put, picked up two so i really really like this i think they had either the same or similar like this last year i'm sure i remember but i'll be honest with you i was in the newborn phase i wasn't interested mugs weren't on my to-do list to get you know but i seen them this year and I, again i think i was in all the autumn fields in the shop and it says stubble up and that was three pound fifty they also had i think i showed you a clip of it anyway they had another one as well and um, i just really like that you know just sitting there with my coffee you know i'm just i'm trying to i don't know why i'm getting all the feels because i think we're having a heat wave next week but never mind then also in b and i picked up this now i've been wanting a bigger blanket for the baby for a long time and i just keep forgetting to pick well i haven't been to b &M for ages but i keep forgetting to go to b &M to pick one up i get these blankets for harrison like every christmas he gets a new one all the time um, and they had this lovely swan print so that's like the print of it and it was seven pounds they're so good these blankets harrison loves these blankets he gets them all the time and i just love the swans how pretty is that though like so so pretty um if you see the it's very very pretty and i just thought she would oh i've got it the wrong way around again um i just thought she would absolutely she needs a bigger blanket now she's getting bigger you know in a cot and stuff like that and out and about and things like that so i just thought i would pick up her a lovely new blanket not a baby one an actual blanket and it's really really soft as well really cozy and it would be good for the winter so i've got that I did also get Harrison one because he was with me as well, and I got him. He, I got him a five pound one. I can't find it at the moment because he's already had it out. He, there was no way I was going to keep that for the haul, but it was like an animal navy one, and it was a five pound one. Re they're really soft and really good. Their blankets, and Harrison loves them. That's where I get all these blankets is from um, B and M. Okay, then I kind of needed to keep right. So basically, it's Olivia's first birthday soon. I don't even. I can't just don't even. I can't even cope with that. By the way, got Isabella's thirteenth next week and then i've also and then i've got olivia's birthday like 10 days after so i thought that these were quite good little just buy for her to wrap her up wrap up for her so they're little like unicorn um sort of bath toys so they're like ducks but they're unicorns they were only two pound 49 and i just thought this is a perfect first birthday present like just like an just little bits like this she hasn't got enough bath toys and she loves the bath so when I saw them, I thought, oh, well, I'll just get these and then these will be part of her presents. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, they don't care anyway. In fact, you'll probably want this label, I guarantee it. So that label will have to come off pretty sharpish. I'll take that off before I even wrap this up. But yeah, she will love these. She's still chewing on everything. She's really teething bad at the moment. She's got like four teeth come through at the exact same time. So anything rubber, I'll be honest, is really good for her. Uh, but these, I just thought, were a great add-on to her presents. Okay, and then, like I said, I was in the fields of autumn in this shop in, when I was in B&M. And do you know what? I just thought, I, there was, I see this cushion going around. I don't think it's the exact same one. I have a different print. I can't remember. But I see it last year anyway. But like I say, I was in the newborn stage. We weren't about to buy cushions. We didn't care about cushions. We were just surviving at that point last year. So I didn't get one or anything. But when I saw it, because I could then couldn't get one after that, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get one today. So I did. I got a cozy cushion so i think they went around last year i don't know if it's the exact same um, print i can't remember because last year's a blur to me i'll be honest with you I, like i said just give birth it won't happen for me uh, i was either end of pregnancy or just giving birth but yeah 12 pounds this was and look how nice it is it's just so cozy uh yeah so i've clearly look i'm not being funny but i've clearly got the vibes going on you know <laughs> i'm clearly thinking Let's just get over with summer and get on to autumn. To be fair, kind of enjoy the looking forward to autumn. And do you know why? I think it's because I'm a mum. So because I'm a mum, obviously autumn means the kids are back to school. So let's get cosy. Kids go back to school. Yay! Honestly, I googled. I need to talk about this for a second. I googled how many weeks there was the other day um, left of the summer holidays. I was pure thinking. I honestly thought we're midway through. How many weeks we got left? And Google told me five weeks in one day. I was only in the first week. I was fuming. So yeah, got a cozy cushion. Love that. Right, now moving on to home bargains. We've got quite a bit here as well. So in home bargains, I did pick up the bicarb soda flash. Um, absolutely love this. This is actually really big. Is it normally that big? Uh, I really love this. This is my favourite thing to clean the bathroom and things like that. It smells so nice and it is really, really good at cleaning. So I love that. It's about £2.49. 
expensive nowadays. Isn't it? Then I picked up a reusable, um, what do you call it, razor. I've got sensitive skin, I don't know why, but I have. I get really bad. Right, anyway, you don't really need time. I've got a razor. Right, so it is going to be Isabella's 13th birthday uh, next week. So I'm planning it all at the moment, and it's actually stressing me out, I'll be honest. And I've got Olivia's 10 days off that, but it's fine. It's fine, we can do this. So I did pick up this, which is a flower curtain. And I'm going to be doing a blue night shift, like, as you know. You will end up seeing that video. That's probably the next video you're probably going to see. It's her birthday prep because it's not that long from here, far from here. Um, and it was just really, really nice. I just thought it was £4.99 and I just thought how nice. And I can use it for Olivia's birthday as well. And I can just use it as a bit more of a backdrop. Um, and yeah, basically you'll see that in the video coming soon. But yeah, loved that. Again, we've got birthdays. So I got these. Now I don't know if I'm, I think I'm going to use these for Isabella's. I'm not sure. But... I just picked them up anyway because they were really nice. They were really cheap, actually. Um, I think they were like 99p, maybe, something like that. Oh, my God, I don't know, actually. I can't remember. Uh, not that expensive, anyway. But I got this with the gold trim, like, really, really pretty, pink, and then the matching napkins. Then I got this, which, by the way, I've missed that snow. I haven't had this one for so long. It's the Febreze um, Lenore Spring Awakening one. Absolutely love it. And just needed something, really, to spray around in the bathrooms really, I don't know, just to have a little bit of something in case, do you know what, I've had people come around lately and they're like last minute turn up at the door and I'm like, oh god, I haven't got a spray. Oh, do you ever get one? Then I've got some sponges for the baby, these are like 49 or 59p in the home bargain, so they're really cheap, but I need a new ones for that. I've got this, I thought it would be nice to add into like a little bit of a goodie bag for Isabella for her birthday. It is the opal black, so it's actually the Black opium, if I'm right in saying that is the dupe of. Um, and I did smell it first, and I don't think I've done it to this one. No, but anyway. yeah, it does smell very, very nice. And I just thought it was a little add on. It's like nearly like one pound, like nine, two pounds, something like that. I don't know, but I just thought I would put them in like a little, you know, like a little toilet juice bag for an extra present for Isabella. She loves her perfumes. I then picked up the baby, these, these are 99p, which is a really good value actually. And it's the little bows. So I got the baby pink ones and then like the dusky pink ones. We lose these all the time. So can never have enough because, you know, she has more hair than me. And I haven't seen these for a while either. And it's because I've been shopping in Aldi and I don't, I don't think Aldi sell them. But they must not, you know, like in the little brand section, they don't think they do. So because I don't think Asda or anything like that. And I don't think Asda's had them, you know. But anyway, I picked them up in Home Bargains because Harrison loves these. And also very good if you're going to any of those things and need to buy one, get one free. So yeah, because as soon as we're in the summer holiday. If you remember in Harrison's kind of little tiny bit of party prep I did in that video, not very much, but that time. So if you remember in Harrison's little um, birthday sort of prep thing, I, I did like his balloons, um, you know, where I put them on like the balloon column thing or whatever, and his sort of Pikachu. But I'm going to try and do it with Isabella's number one three this year. Um, for her as well, so I can do a few different sort of like displays and stuff, and I don't have to use helium either. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but I thought I'd buy these to put at the bottom. So when you do the columns, sort of thing, this is what weighs it down. And I'm gonna, I just need to get curling ribbon, um, so that I can tie it all together. So it's a little bit better because I did it last minute last time. So I'm gonna try and do it proper DIY style this year for Isabella for her balloons. I then add Harrison with me, and if I don't get sweets then I haven't got Harrison with me but if I do then I've got Harrison with me so I've got sweet I actually got jelly tots and this is actually for Isabella because she really likes jelly tots and I just thought it was this part of me starting to pick up her little sweetie sort of bits so I can get like sweets and like that for a little get together I then got these which I've been using these a lot lately and it's you know the kit you know the food bag clips well they have them in home bargains for with the little like the little aesthetic colours so it's like a grey like greyishy beigey and white ones, all different sizes. These are a must, especially with a baby. She never finishes any, anything, obviously, because I've got like, half opened sort of like snacks and stuff for her. So they're really good. And they seem to get lost. I don't know what happens to them. So I picked up another bag of those. And I think they were like what, 99p. Something like that. Really, really cheap. Again, I had Harrison with me. I then am starting to do the back to school shop as well. So I picked up some pencils. They're really cheap in home bargains, I'll be honest. So if you're going to go... But that's all stationary. I would advise probably going to Home Bargains if you have one near you because there's so much cheaper than anywhere else. Don't go to WH Smith unless you need a particular thing that you can't get anywhere else. It's a waste of money. Um, I've got some black ballpoint pens and some pencils. 
I'll be honest, Isabella basically just has this and she has it in a blazer. I used to do that by the time I was in year 11. She's already doing it. She's now going into year nine, but she was in year eight. She was already doing it in year eight, so whatever. I used to love a pencil case at that age, but each to their own and all of that. I think that was everything that I got from B&M and Home Bargains. I feel like that just went through really quickly. I don't know what I showed you and what I didn't. Probably missing something as usual, but I did also get going to the range, which you would have seen, and they had new in stuff. And I wanted to show you, I only picked up two things from there, but I really want to show you what I got. So I did get this bag. So I've been looking for like, um, so this is a good idea for me back school bag, by the way, or need what, I, need what I'm using for. Basically, the baby, I'm in that transition stage of not really wanting a big baby, like not wanting a baby bag, should I say. In fact, it didn't hold as much stuff in it in the end because I end up carrying things for Harrison, especially in the holidays and stuff, I'm going to the parks and stuff. And I just want an easy bag to put on my back. So I got this, which is a decent size. It's not too big and not too small, if you like. Um, I do want a really small one eventually as well, so that I can just have little bits. So I will get one, whatever. But I got this. As you know, I like swans and stuff, um, if you see my Timu order. <laughs> and basically, I got this. It's a furry It's a furry pink. I've already got a mark on it, but don't worry about it. Very pink, and it's got the swans. It's really, really nice. Really, really big. Got a wrapper in it. Um, and yeah, it's just the backpack. So I've got this for Olivia so I can cart around all of her stuff and things like that. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was really, really pretty. And it was only £8.99, which I thought was really, really good for a bag like this. So I'm gonna show you something I've got from the range, which I am so over the moon with, by the way. It is very, very heavy. So I got this vase, it is actually really heavy. Oh my goodness. So look how stunning that is. This is something that I was, I think I've seen in like the white company, that type of thing. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Sorry, um, and basically it's like that style of a vase. It is so, so heavy and so pretty, like really, really nice. And I've got the stems actually from Primark. I've got these eucalyptus ones. A lot of people are always ask me because they're a really nice color. Um, I got those from Primark just so you know. But I've just shoved them in here now and they look really nice. So yeah, this vase was in the range. It was the last one left when I was in there. And it was only £25. £25 for this. And when I tell you, it's really, really big and really, really heavy. So yeah, I'm so over the moon with this. Really love it. So yeah. So that was everything that I picked up from B&M, Home Bargains and The Range. I hope you enjoyed today's haul and come shop with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was new in B&M and The Range, all the autumn bits and everything else. Let me know, have you seen anything in your shops that have like the autumn stuff in? I mean, it's literally, I think 1st of August and they're like, everybody, it's autumn you know <laughs> everything changes so yeah i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did please give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye